so as I said, it's 10 days, it was 10 days ago, um, since I last checked and she did the measurement and said the gestational sac has only grown five days. Hey family, welcome back hey, to on Cloud Lindsay. <laughs> so guys, this is a quick video just to give you an update. Our 10 day update right. from the last video that we um where we were talking about our viable or <laughs> non viable, -viable pregnancy. pregnancy. So we'll put the link above here so you can see if you haven't watched that one. And this is just the 10 days follow up. So we went back in, um, 10 days of course, um, to see the doctor and uh, did another check. Um, we did, she did an internal check and also an external um, ultrasound and still um, nothing. <laughs> Uh, again, it's the same story as the one before. Um, she can see the gestational, the gestational sac. sac, but she cannot see anything inside of it. Nothing inside at She all. also did the measurement. So as I said, it's 10 days. It was 10 days ago um, since our last check. And she did the measurement and said the gestational sac has only grown five days. So um, no. in the last 10 days so and again she threw that word out she threw that word out viable pregnancy or non-viable pregnancy so we were pretty much like well what is that what, what does she, this mean she, it's like it's, she said that we need to determine if it's a viable pregnancy or not so that you can move forward with the other testing mm -hmm. which you can't do unless they have determined that the pregnancy is viable, meaning that they have found a baby and they have found a heartbeat. But no heartbeat because there is no sign of any baby so far. But there's a sack. But there's only the sack. And the last time when we went in at six weeks and a few days, the sack measured exactly what it was supposed to measure at the time. Mm -hmm. But now it was supposed to go by 10 days. But it only grew by five days, which is no cause of concern. Mm -hmm. So she said that we should wait a little bit more. Maybe we just can't pick up the baby. Days. Maybe we just can't pick up the baby yet. Wait until the baby has gotten a little bigger. But, and then see if they can pick up anything. If not, then they'll take other measures. So basically... We are in the waiting game again for another 10 days. 14. This 10, 14 days, two mm -hmm. weeks, to see whether or not a baby will turn up on the and ultrasound. And what else to do. Honestly, I feel like, I don't know, like, this is only my second pregnancy, so I don't know what others have gone through or if anybody has had this experience. But to me, I feel like, you know when you're waiting for bad news, but they're dragging it out and they don't want to give you the bad news yet? That's, I feel like that's what's happening. So, I mean, I kept asking her, like, what does this mean? Like, what could this, like, possibly mean? So, like, you know, tell me something. And she was like, nothing. This, like, she's not, she doesn't seem worried. She doesn't seem concerned. She's... She's just like, no, nothing. It doesn't mean anything. It just means we can't see it. So we have to wait. And I'm just like, well. Did she say anything about why the sack only grew by five days? No. Mm -hmm. She didn't, she didn't, she didn't even say anything about that. So it's like, she seems very nonchalant <laughs> and not concerned. And I guess. Well, she can't then, scare you. So I'm feeling. Well, so, well, that's it. Because I don't know what it means. And I feel like I'm waiting for her to give me bad news and she's just like, not yet. Let's just 
put off the bad like, news for another wait time. again and see if something let's just wait. pop up. Let's just wait for another time. Fingers crossed. And I'm just like, just tell me now, like, what I need to do. Like, what's going to be my next step? Am I going to need to, like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> like what? I don't even know what to <laughs> Like, so you basically give up already. It's not about like giving up, but it's like I don't I don't know. Like I don't understand it. So tell me what tell me like hey this is this is what this means. If we go another how many ever days and this is still continuing, this is what's this is more than likely what's happening. Or we see this a lot, so um, it could just be that but there's no information. You know, there's no information either way. So it leads me, of course, to obviously feel on the negative side. Obviously, I didn't feel on the negative side. I feel concerned, well, but it, I never felt like it was going to be bad news. I. I had an open mind. It's like I am trying to, what they always say, prepare for the, what? Expect the best, prepare for the worst, something like that. It's like that kind of mind frame I'm in right now, where I am, I feel optimistic. I feel like the baby is there, but we just can't see it yet. But why? I don't know. That's just well, how I'm yes, feeling. And then the fact that she was like, "Oh, it only grew by five days." And so like, like so that's and that's why I'm saying, saying, "Okay, so maybe we stop growing five something's days." Something's happening well? because maybe the baby's not there. So that is why the gestational sac is no longer growing. But being the person I am, I've been watching videos since the last visit, and I've been reading up and reading up on what. And what it means to be you see, pregnant and don't you wait. See, let me finish. <laughs> and what it, this might mean and look at, look at um, other people's experiences. And that's why we're doing this because we're also sharing our experience. And from what I've seen, I've seen people go all the way up to 10 weeks without finding any baby. And when I see those videos and read those experiences, I feel... Like I can identify with those. Yes, there are other persons with ex bad experiences and things didn't work out. But when I see those, I don't feel like that's what's going to happen to us. So I just have an open mind. But at the same time, I'm just waiting for them to find the baby. You're so I'm just waiting. optimistic. <laughs> I'm just waiting. And also I'm praying too. So I... Don't think my prayers are going to go in vain. But um, even though while praying, it's like, what am I praying about? Am I praying, Lord, let there be a baby? Or Lord, let your will be done? Or Lord, what is this? It's like, if I, at some point, I feel like if I'm praying to ask the Lord to let there be a baby inside his life, a voice is saying, you really want another baby that badly <laughs> that you're going to the extent of praying that there should be a baby when it could mean otherwise. And then when I'm praying, Lord, just let your will be done. I feel like I am giving up. So it's, it is like all kind of thoughts going on inside. But as it is now, I am just waiting and I'm not very anxious right now. I'm just waiting. <laughs> what? You're very... I guess you're better than me. And I guess it's good that you are that. Because if we were both like me, then it's like, honestly, I'm just like... I just want to know what's going to happen next. I want Honestly, to know too, like, I just want to know. Like, give me the bad sometimes news. Sometimes we have to wait so that I can move on this with life. Like, I feel come like I'm to stuck. Those who wait, good things come to those who At wait. At this point, I feel like I'm stuck. So, but what I'm, can we do? We can only wait and see. So that's what we are doing.
right now. Your prayer is that. My prayer is your will be done. <laughs> the Lord will give you more than you can bear. So if the Lord knows that, like, if I'm not supposed to be pregnant, then the Lord knows why. If I am, and maybe this is a learning experience um, that we're having, you know, like, but I don't know. I just want to know something. Well, we know in 10 days, two 14. weeks. I keep saying 10, day, 10 days. So that's pretty much it, guys. We're just giving an update, taking you along the journey. And we'll let you know when we get the, the next update. And that's it. If you have any similar experience, you can share it with us in the comment section. Let us know what the results were, how it went for you, what are some symptoms. Uh, talking about symptoms, do you feel any kind of symptoms or any? I don't know. <laughs> anything? <laughs> like, I don't know what I feel. Because it, you don't feel anything abnormal. So, I th and I think that's why I'm more optimistic because um, from my reading and, and videos that I've watched, person, the persons who've had negative results in the end um they had some bad symptoms and which would have led to that but she's not having any kind of symptoms along that line so i think that's why i'm a bit more... so you're looking out for symptoms yes <laughs> you see if something do you not not do you maybe we just can't see the baby yet but we'll see so until next time Keep us in your prayers. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> okay. See you guys. See you next time. On, On Cloud, Cloud Lindsay, Lindsay. my family. <laughs>